Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this fixed beam. In this beam, there are two loads. One point load 9 kN. It is acting at a distance of 2 meter from the point A. Then we have uniformly distributed load 4 kN per meter. It is acting for the whole span. Length of the beam is 6 meter. Now we are going to find the moments MA and MB. For that we are going to use moment area method. In that method first we have to draw the mu diagram. Then we have to draw mu dash diagram. To draw mu diagram we have to convert the fixed beam into a simply supported beam. Here you can see that I have converted the fixed beam into a simply supported beam. Now let us find the vertical reactions Ra and Rb in this beam. First let us find the reaction Ra. For that I am going to take a moment about to B. In this case I am moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. Ra is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 6. So 6 Ra. The load 9 kN is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4. The UDL4 is acting in the anticlockwise direction so it is also negative. For the UDL we have to multiply with the distance and distance by 2. Finally for RA we are getting 18 kN. Now let us apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0 and find RB. Now let us find the bending moment in the point C from the point A. RA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 2. The uniformly distributed load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. For the UDL we have to multiply with the distance and the distance by 2. So for the bending moment at C we will get 28 kN meter. Now using this value we can draw the bending moment diagram. Here you can see the bending moment diagram. We know that in the points A and B the moment is 0. In the point C we have found the moment 28. Since there is uniformly distributed load for the full span the diagram should be in the parabolic shape. This diagram is called mu diagram. Now we have to find the area of this diagram. Since it is a parabolic shape, it is difficult to find the area. In this case, we have to go for integration. To make the integration, we have to make sections in this beam. In this beam, there are two different parts, AC and CB. So we have to make two sections, one in AC and one in CB. You can see that I have made two sections. I have made both of the sections at the distance of x from the point A. Now we are going to find the moments in the sections. I am going to find the moments from the point A. In this case I have to use right hand side rule. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. Let us find the moment about the first section. Ra is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x. So 18x. The UDL4 is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. For the UDL we have to multiply with the distance and the distance by 2. 4 upon 2 it will be 2. x into x we will get x square. Now let us find the bending moment in the second section. Ra is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x so 18x. The UDL is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So it is negative. For the UDL we have to multiply with the distance and a distance by 2. 
the point load 9 is acting in the anti clockwise direction so that it is also negative for this load we have to take this distance this distance is x minus 2 we can multiply minus 9 with this term we will get these two terms 18x minus 9x we will get positive 9x now let us find the area of mu diagram for that we have to integrate the movements about the sections for the first section the limit is 0 to 2 and for the second section the limit is 2 to 6 now let us take a calculator and do these two integrations if you do not know how to do integrations in the calculator see the description below you can see the link you can click the link and watch the video i have used the calculator and i have got these two values when we add these two values we will get 108 now let us find the movement of mu diagram area about the point a in the previous step we have found the bending moment in both of the sections in the previous step we have only integrated the movements but here we have to multiply the movements with the x that is the only difference with the previous step when we do these integrations we will get these two values when we add both of them we will get the moment of mu diagram area which is 312 now let us make the mu dash diagram we know that in this fixed beam the loading is not symmetrical since the point load 9 kilo newton is nearer to the point a ma will be having the higher value than mb so this line should be higher than this line then we can connect the points now we have to find the area of a mu dash diagram let us consider a trapezoid if in the trapezoid one end height is a and the other end height is b and it has the length of l the formula to find the area is l upon 2 into a plus b just before we saw the formula l upon 2 into a plus b here L is 6, A is MA and B is MP, 6 upon 2 is 3. So for the area of mu dash diagram we are getting 3 into MA plus MB. Now let us see how to get the centroidal distance towards the point A. In this trapezoid the centroidal distance towards the left is L upon 3 into A plus 2B upon A plus B. Here L is 6. A is MA and B is MB. So using this formula we have got this. Now let us find moment of mu dash diagram area about the point A. We have already found the area and the centroid distance towards the point A. We have to multiply both of them. 3 into 2, we will get 6. We can eliminate MA plus MB. Finally, for the moment of mu dash diagram area, we have got 6 into MA plus 2MB. Now, let us equate the area of mu dash diagram and area of mu diagram. We have found both of them. Let us apply them. 108 upon 3 we will get 36 let us keep this as the first equation now let us equate the movement of mu dash diagram area and the movement of mu diagram area we have found both of them let us apply them 312 upon 6 we will get 52 let us keep this as the equation number 2 now we can solve both of these equations so that we will get MA and MB. We can use the calculator to solve the equations. If you do not know how to solve them in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. I have used the calculator.
for MA, I have got 20 kN meter and for MB, I have got 16 kN meter. We know that MA will be acting in the anticlockwise direction and MB will be acting in the clockwise direction. We have calculated the fixed end movements MA and MB. Now we are going to find the vertical reactions RA and RB. First, let us find RA. For that, I am going to take movement about to B. In this case, we are moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. The movement MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. RA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 6. So 6 RA. The point load 9 is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4. The UDL 4 is also acting in the anticlockwise direction so it is also negative. For the UDL we have to multiply with the distance and a distance by 2. The movement MB is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive. Finally for RA we are getting 18.667 kN. Now let us apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0 and find RB. RA and RB are acting upwards so both of them are positive. These two loads are acting downwards so both of them are negative. With the UDL we have to multiply the distance. Finally for RB we are getting 14.333 kN. Now we are going to draw the shear force diagram. I am going to find the shear force values from the point A and towards the point B. In this case I have to follow right hand side rule. Upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative. Here you can see the calculations. Here you can see the shear force diagram. Now we can combine mu diagram and mu dash diagram so that we will get the bending moment diagram. For MA we have got 20 and for MB we have got 16. Wherever both of the diagrams are coming alone we have to shade them with the signs. We know that in this analysis the mu dash diagram will be negative and the mu diagram will be positive. Alternatively we can draw the bending moment diagram considering all of the points. But it is up to you. You can either follow the previous method or this method whichever is easier for you. Here we have to find this ordinate this is the value of maximum positive bending moment. For that we have to see the shear force diagram where the bending moment becomes zero. In this point the shear force becomes zero. In this point there will be maximum positive bending moment. In that point let us make a section at a distance of x from the point B. We know that in this section the shear force is zero. Let us find the shear force from the point B. In this case we have to follow left hand side rule. Upwards will be negative and downwards will be positive. RB is acting upwards so that it will be negative. The uniformly distributed load is acting downwards so that it will be positive and the distance is x. After the calculation for x we are getting 3.583 meter. Now let us find the maximum positive bending moment. We are going to find the moment from the point B. In this case we are following left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. This moment is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. RB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3.583. The UDL is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. For the UDL we have to multiply with the distance and the distance by 2. For the maximum positive bending moment we are getting 9.68 kN meter. 
let us find the bending moment in the point B. In the point B, we have the moment MB which is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. In the similar way, we can find the bending moment under this point load. We will get 9.33 kN meter. To find the bending moment in the point A, we can use right hand side rule. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. In the point A, we have MA which is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. Using the values, we can draw the bending moment diagram. In these two points, the bending moment becomes zero. We can find the location of these two points, but it is not necessary. Anyway, I am going to find both of the locations. For that, I have to make sections in both of the points. You can see that I have made sections in both of the points at the distance of x from the point A. First, let us find the distance x in this section. For that, we can use the right hand side rule. Using that rule, for x, we are getting 1.23 meter. In the similar way, we can find the value of x in this section. We are getting 4.62 meter. If this distance is 4.62, this distance will be 6 minus 4.62. We will get 1.38 meter. So, we have found both of the locations where the bending moment becomes zero. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.